all catching every single book. Okay. Anita, she is the vice president. She's my backbone. We grew up together very, very close since we were babies. I've been doing it with her now going on four years. Just, I love it. I love my job. I love working with pregnant models. <laughs> Amelia from Cadell and I started about five years ago. And today we're here to say that we stand tall and proud, revealing our beautiful, curvaceous way of change as our body grows. So thank you for the togetherness, and I bless you all. She's a go-getter. I really like her energy. She's got so much spunk. Not only does she know how to walk down the runway with elegant style, poise, but she's just so darn gorgeous. My name is Keisha, and I have been a professional model for five years. In my own mind, I've been a model since I was two. <laughs> I met my husband September 8th, I'll never forget, in Union Square in 2004. He saw me, he waited for me to get off the phone for about a half an hour. I was a little on edge because you know how it is in New York when a stranger just comes up to you and says hello and you're beautiful and all of that. You're like, yeah, right, whatever. And, but he, it was something about him that was not the typical, you know, hey girl, how you doing? Well, he's Nigerian, um, he works in London, and he is a prince. You know, I'm a prince from Africa. And I just thought, well, she could be my princess. Which all of this I found out after we had been dating for about a year and a half. I had no clue. His mom, by the way, thinks that I'm Nigerian. <laughs> his father was meant to be king, but he passed it on to his brother. So his uncle is king now. So eventually, Kunle was offered, but he was like, I can't do this. No, I don't actually... Uh like the idea in Africa is much more like a pagan ritual. So like, for example, you have to eat the heart of the former king, that the one that died. I, I said no. <laughs> I would have been in love with him and, and been excited to be with him if he wasn't a prince, but the fact that he is is just kind of like, wow, I married a prince. Like, you know, the baby that I'm carrying inside, if he chooses to, can actually like be the king of, you know, in Nigeria. Like, how many women can actually say that they did that? Today we are here for our eight month checkup with my doctor, Mindy Kwan. We may get a sonogram done and then also we're taking our first breathing class, which is going to be very funny. <laughs> like, Hi, how are you? Good. All the time. Okay. But I don't need to scoot all the way back. Um, or I'm just enough that I can reach your belly. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Do you know we haven't seen the baby since five months? I'm having a boy. I'm so excited. I've always wanted a boy. So, one of the first things that we notice is that baby's already head down. <gasps> he is head down! Like circle. I've heard this with some moms-to-be or mothers that they just kind of always knew or felt that they were either having a girl or a boy. And with me, I felt from day one that it was a boy. See his heart? Is he beating? Oh, yeah. Oh, right He's also there. taking these little practice breathing so you can see his diaphragm moving up and down. Okay. Um, got a little man in there so we have testicles. See we didn't get to see all that. Penis. I have four weeks to go. The time where they say it could come any day now. I mean you could 
give birth tomorrow because at this point the baby is full term, which is exciting. I'm having an all natural birth and my doctor is convinced that I'm going to have an epidural and I keep telling her that I'm not. So Dr. Kwan, if you're watching, I'm not having an epidural. To prepare for the labor, uh, my husband and I did take a breathing class. A lovely lady named Rosemary, she was very sweet. So what you're going to do is you're always going to take this deep cleansing breath in, which is in through your nose and out through your mouth, and at that point you'll relax your body, okay? And so shall we try it so that you two do it together? Okay. The breathing techniques that we've been learning, I think it's called rhythmic breathing, where your partner is supposed to say one, two, three, or four, which is when you go, and if they say two, you go. Number one. Two. Five. No fives. Much. <laughs> so I have to four. My husband is a little bit of a jokester. So it's just one through four. I'll be doing that and he'll say like 15. Up to four, that kills the limit. <laughs> Which is really annoying, but it's also kind of funny. So I don't know if he's really going to be like that when I'm like really in my contraction. <laughs> one, five. <laughs> so I'm, I'm curious to see how he's going to react.